Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily guidance and energy reading. And I'm using the Angel Inspiration Deck by Kim Dreyer. This will be a timeless reading, although this is for today, Wednesday, May 20th. You may use it as a pick a card, one, two, or three, or blended reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Okay, and first card is card 18, and it's Trust the Flow, and what a beautiful, beautiful card this is. This entire deck is gorgeous, and Trust the Flow, there are some things in life we have control over and others we do not. Micah asks you to trust the spiritual and earthly journey that beckons you. When you allow the flow of the divine in your life, your connection to the angels becomes stronger. Your journey is a unique, is very unique and your own. Do not let anyone dictate your path. Follow the calling, the feeling in your heart. Many times you may simply know that something's something is right. And at other times, these trusts and feelings and knowings are very important to you. Even if it's contrary to what others believe, you don't need to convince anyone of what your spiritual path is for you. I mean, every one of us has their own spiritual journey. Every one of us has their own truth to live. And no one has the right to tell you what path to take. The beauty and wonder of the earthly journey is that each one of us has a unique purpose in this life. And allow Mika to reveal to you your purpose and guide you in pursuing it. So yeah, I mean, we all have a purpose. We all have a mission. Some of us may already know and we're already on our path. Some are still awakening to what they should really be doing. But just to ask the angels, you know, please give me a sign. Please tell me, what do I need to know? What do I need to do? And I used to ask all the time saying, you know, please put people on my path that I could help. People that will, you know, need these messages, people that will be able to benefit from my experience. And you'd be surprised of all the people that would slowly but surely start showing up in my life that, you know, were in situations that I knew, you know, they were suffering and that I was able to comfort and help them with, you know, the wisdom that I have learned through the painful experiences that I've been through. And then the next card is number 14, show justice. And the angel is holding these two scales of justice and there's a blindfold across the angel's face. And this reminds me of the justice card in Tarot. And the ability to make correct choices and decisions in determining these and others does not come from judging, but by being just in your evaluation of others. It means checking your own responses and considering all sides of the situation before taking a stand. The ability to judge fairly must be applied to everyone, not with the intention of being right or superior nor from the need to control or dictate, but from an accurate assessment of the situation. Releasing the need to make judgment opens you to more accurate and emphatic understanding of situations and people. Taking time trying to appreciate where a person is coming from and what their story is will aid you in being less judgmental and more just in your interactions. So yeah, just take a moment and try to look at the other person's point of view, the other side of the story. See what it's like to walk a mile in their shoes. People are just so quick to judge if people don't agree with what you believe in or how you live or what you think is right or wrong. You know, there's so many closed-minded people out there that just feel like if you're not with me, you're against me. And no, that's not the attitude to have. I mean, everyone is entitled to what they believe in. They're entitled to their opinions. And when you're making a decision about something, Try to see it from the other person's point of view. Try to see where they're coming from. Try to see the innocence in a lot of situations where people get offended thinking someone did something intentionally to them when actually they had no intention of hurting the person and it was just a, a misunderstanding of some type. 
So there may be something coming up that you're going to need to make a decision. And it needs to be a well-balanced decision too. One that you're not judging uh, the other person. And what a beautiful card, Archangel Shamuel. And this is card number four or card number three if you're doing the pick a card reading. And I love the pink color and she's holding this beautiful heart. And Shamuel teaches us purity of true love, unconditional love, love for self and love for others. She assists us in seeing the beauty of our own soul in order to see the beauty in others at a heart level. Shamuel will help you when you're struggling with relationships with friends or loved ones and will give you insight into repairing wounded relationships or help you recover from broken relationships. Archangel Shamuel shows you how to be non-judgmental of those people who are in your life and find common ground, respect, and compassion for their personal journey. I mean, again, here we are talking about not being judgmental. You know, the message again is, is non-judgmental. She brings families and communities and countries together, bringing about global peace on all levels. She teaches us that in order to love others, we must first love ourselves because that is so true. If you don't have love in your heart, and I don't mean a narcissistic kind of love. I mean a healthy self-love where you respect yourself and you set boundaries and you don't allow people to take advantage or, or use you or abuse you. And when you have that self-love within your heart, you have that love to give. You can't give something that you don't possess on the inside of yourself as well. So this is a beautiful, beautiful card, you know, of self-love and, you know, appreciating people that are different from us, okay, and appreciating their differences. Uh, we live in a very diverse society. And again, just because someone doesn't think the way you think or believe in the things you believe in, that's okay. It's okay to disagree, you know, just agree to disagree and allow people, you know, to agree and disagree with you as well. I don't ever expect anyone to agree on all of the, the things that I believe in or that I feel passionately about, okay? And we need to respect other opinions just like they need to respect ours. And that we can do this in a very respectful manner. But too many people get heated and argumentative when you start discussing religion or politics or sports. Those are the hot topics that I try to avoid on my Facebook page. Uh, because people just get so wound up over it. And you got to realize that, you know, what someone's opinion is doesn't matter, okay? You still could follow your beliefs. They could follow their beliefs and we can all live in harmony together. And it's okay to do what you're doing as long as you're not hurting someone else. What a beautiful reading today. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.